This might be the scariest movie of 2023. It's about the collapse of American civilization and is produced by Barack and Michelle Obama. But why is the ending so divisive and what did it mean anyway? Here's everything you need to know, so be sure to hit like and subscribe for more videos like this one. A family rents a house to get away for the weekend and in the night there is a knock at the door. It's the owners of the house and they're asking to come in and stay. Throughout the movie, it's slowly being revealed that something is going on. The phone and the TV stop working, the internet is out, and a massive oil tanker runs aground. The men head out to seek answers. One is drowned in propaganda leaflets in Arabic, and the other finds the site of a plane crash right before another plane starts coming in. They're crashing in the same place over and over. And then there is a sonic attack, a high-pitched frequency which affects everyone in the families. When the son's teeth start to fall out, it's decided that they need to find medicine, and Kevin Bacon's survivalist neighbor has just what they need. The standoff on the porch is absolutely symbolic of a coming civil war, and then George reveals his belief that this is a three-step attack to isolate and destroy the country. At the same time, Amanda and Ruth witness a devastating attack on New York. And while it feels like things are just beginning, the daughter enters a bunker. Note that all of the food stored is from companies who have had issues related to race. There's everything you'd need to survive down here, but there's only one thing she wants, the comfort of sitting and watching friends. She puts in the DVD, is bathed in blue light, and the movie ends playing the theme tune to Friends. And this abrupt ending without answers seems to have people quite angry, but what does it mean? She is all of us, seeking escape in entertainment, the comfort of that blue light as the tide is rising. Note the wall in the bedroom that changes through the movie, the water level rises as things get more serious. And when her brother asks why she's obsessing over seeing the rest of Friends, she says, they make me happy and I really need that right now. Who can't relate to that? She hits home the message of how we want to escape from what is happening in the world, but also part of the message is about how reliant we've become on technology, and just how vulnerable that makes us. So what can we assume happens to the characters after the movie ends? George says we need to get to that bunker now, and the women are out looking for the daughter, so it's fair to assume that they all meet up there. But as for what happens beyond that, the message that you're left with is clear. When the brother questions why she wants to see friends so badly, she says, I care about them. And he says, maybe you shouldn't. Is the message there for us to care less about technology and mindless entertainment and more about what's going on around us? Let me know what you think in a comment. So what do people hate about this movie and why are they probably wrong? People are unhappy with the way it ended, saying that the movie was about nothing and didn't show them anything. But the film wasn't trying to be Armageddon or The Day After Tomorrow. It's not your typical disaster movie. So I can understand how if people put this on expecting The Rock to be fighting an earthquake or something, then they picked the wrong film. It could very well be suffering from some of the same false expectations as Don't Look Up, which also wanted to convey a similarly stark warning but left a lot of viewers cold. When people watch something with a message but miss the message, or it's one they don't want to hear, it feels empty, they're annoyed, and they feel like they wasted their time. Don't get me wrong, people don't have to like the movie, but I think a lot of the hate that it's getting is simply from being misunderstood. In terms of what it was trying to do, personally, I think it stuck the landing. I found myself sufficiently alarmed and distressed by what is a very plausible plot. Whether in the future it's from a cyber attack or from solar flares and storms, we may find ourselves in a very similar situation in the future. And that is terrifying. What did you think of this film and what film should I cover next? Let me know in a comment below and subscribe for more.